Well, look, I think it's fair to say that Penny Morden is coming under huge scrutiny now after that bombshell YouGov poll of Conservative Party members yesterday showing that she had a uh, lead over the other contenders. 27% of Tory members backing her in that poll. And I know a number of you, you know, massive fans of Lord Frost were waiting perhaps to see who he would endorse, what he's got to say. Well, he has made a massive intervention today and it's absolutely a devastating critique, really, of Penny Morden. Uh, Lord Frost saying he had grave reservations about his old Brexit deputy, uh, Penny Morden. He told Talk TV, to be honest, I'm quite surprised she is where she is in this race. She was my deputy, notionally more than really, in the Brexit talks last year. And he said, I'm sorry to say this. She did not master the necessary detail in the negotiations last year. She wouldn't always deliver tough messages to the European Union when that was necessary. And I'm afraid she wasn't account fully accountable or always visible. Sometimes he says, I didn't even know where she was. He said, I'm afraid she became such a problem that after six months, I had to ask the PM to move on and find somebody else to support me. From the basis of what I saw, Lord Frost says, I would have grave reservations. Now, as you might expect, some Conservative MPs, including Simon Clark, highlighting this intervention uh, saying this is a really serious warning from Lord Frost uh, and that the party in the country needs a leader who is tested and ready. Now, as for who Lord Frost is backing in this race, uh, rumoured to be privately urging the likes of Suella Braveman, Kemi Badnock to back Liz Truss. Uh, with a friend of Lord Frost quoted there as saying, while Suella, Kemi and Liz are all extremely good candidates on the right of the party, he thinks Liz Truss's evident determination to put Britain Onto a new reform in free market economic path gives her the edge. He thinks it's time for all three to unite behind her and make sure the members get a candidate who can deliver real economic reform and change. So yeah, as I said, that's a pretty uh, major intervention there, guys. I know a number of you are big fans of Penny Morden. In the recent poll uh, that I did here on the channel, a lot of you uh, voted for her as your preferred candidate. So let me know what you make of that intervention, guys. Uh, does that change your perception of uh, Penny Morden. Would you be worried now about her becoming the next Prime Minister? Let me know in the comments below as ever. I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more. Please do whack this video a quick thumbs up and of course as ever, cheers for watching.